Uh, my name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Hart. You can find more information about me and my projects and any questions that you might have um, on my blog at www.stampingwithheart.blogspot.com. Okay, so, um, oh my gosh, there is nothing like seeing these in colors in person. Um, you know, you, I've seen so many videos. I've I just, I'm just like you. I watch the videos. I love the unboxings. I, I'm into it. I don't, I, you know, I'll watch multiples of them just to kind of see what everybody's got and what they're making with it. And I knew, you know, that these colors were really pretty, but this one, Parakeet Party is like fluorescent. And for some reason that just didn't quite come across to me. Like, I mean, I knew it was a brighter green, but oh my gosh, it's so bold and bright. It's gonna be so much fun for summer. Um, these are gorgeous colors. So I'm gonna do just a fun little experiment with everybody tonight, if you guys don't mind. Uh, hi, Roberta. Oh, it's so happy to see you here. So um, I'm gonna do a fun little experiment with you guys tonight. I haven't even had a chance to put my ink um, my ink pads together. If anybody wants to see that, let me know, but you guys are probably all seasoned at it and know how to do it. Um, so these are our ink pads. We're just gonna set these aside for now. We'll come back to these in a minute. This is the um, In Color Designer Series paper pack in the new colors. I'm gonna put that aside for a minute. This is the cardstock pack in the assorted with the new colors. I'm gonna put that aside for a minute. And now we're going to pretend, <laughs> I was experimenting earlier today, we're going to, we're going to pretend that this is a cart, okay? We're going to pretend this is our um, Stampin' Up cart, all right? Now, for the starter kit special, um, and for anybody who's watching the replay, if you don't want to know about the starter kit special, you can skip ahead. I'm going to be talking about it all month because it blows my mind every single time I think about the savings. So I'm just going to do this really quickly with you guys just to kind of give you an idea of the value of the starter kit special. And then we'll go ahead and we'll dive into the new products and we'll make a card. Okay. So here's some of the stuff that I got in my pre-order and I'm just going to kind of put these in the card as we go along. So I got, um, the actual tea boutique suite. Uh, but let's just say for the sake of putting things in our cart, I got the bundle. The cup of tea bundle is 45. So that includes this stamp set and it includes all of these dies. I was cutting out the dies earlier. This is, this is what I got caught up with you guys. Uh, so all of these fabulous dies in this bundle. This is so cute. The cup of tea bundle. I mean, even just the name of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my cart. All right. Now I cannot even tell you how excited I am about happiness abounds. Um, if anybody's got this yet, give me a shout out, leave me a comment, let me know. This is my favorite one so far. This is my favorite one. You're probably gonna hear me say that a couple of times throughout the annual catalog, but oh my gosh. So this is the happiness abounds bundle, all right? This one would be $49.50 for this bundle. I'm just gonna put this in here, and you know what? I'm not even, I'm not even doing it justice. Let me remove the post-it. Look at those flowers. Look at these sentiments. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's pop that into the cart and let me just show you what the dies look like. I haven't even opened them yet. So I'm just gonna open these really quick. Okay. Let's just take a look. There are 11, there's 11 dies in this. Gorgeous. Okay, so we have this fabulous, uh, what is that called? Um, that pattern. Oh gosh, anybody who's a gardener or has one of these in their yard is gonna know what I'm talking about. Um, and then we have these, these are fabulous. I cannot wait to play with this. I'm so excited, excited about this one. Okay, but we're gonna put that bundle in our cart for now. So let me just put that in my cart. Okay, so let's say I want the T Designer Series Paper, T Boutique Designer Series Paper. It's $12 for this pack of all of this fun, fabulous paper, okay? And 12 is kind of like a an average price for designer par series paper if you would wanna do a different one, right? So I'm gonna put that in my cart. Then we have this really cute, if you're into coordinating products like I am, um, we have this super cute T Boutique cards and envelopes. This is what we're gonna be playing with tonight. And you can see we have coordinating pre-printed 
cards and envelopes which are really great for people who need to craft quickly and it matches all of our tea stuff right so we're going to put this in our cart all right so that's the cards and the envelopes and let's just say to finish it off we want to put in um, an embellishment of some kind so i'm going to put in the um, mad decorative dots 2022 to 2024 in my little cart okay so all of these items the embellishments the cards and envelopes the designer series paper and the two bundles bundle number one and bundle number two that comes to 124.50 in product so that right there is your starter kit okay just just a sample starter kit idea for you you can switch it out for whatever you would want 125 is what you can get in value in product and then you pay 99 you get free shipping on it and in addition to what's in this cart this is what you're paying for this is the extras for may the assorted 2022 to 2024 in color cardstock the designer series paper all the brand new in color these ink pads all five of them all five right here let me just pop them on and the grid paper which i haven't bought yet so you're going to get a grid paper in color pack too all of this all of it 99 can you even i just i can't wrap my head around it i just i can't it's it is the coolest thing so if anybody has any questions about that don't hesitate to let me know i just i had to do that i was like because even i like I, this was my pre-order you guys and i paid for all of it and i'm happy to pay for it and i'm happy to play with it and show it to you but this is what you can get in may in your starter kit so all right that said let me go ahead and slide this to the side and let's take a closer look at the cards and envelopes because this is what i wanted to play with tonight um, I just think that they are so beautiful. Okay, so we're going to use these. We're probably going to use some of this tea paper because it's so beautiful. And then let's go ahead and look at these cards and envelopes. Um, and I'll go back through comments here in just a minute. But yeah, I think that's the first time I've ever done that little experiment. But oh my gosh, I cannot even. Okay, so here we go. Here's Parakeet Party. I'm going to just separate these out. Let me see if I can separate these out really quick. All right, I know I'm not the first to show them, but we all have different ideas, right? Okay, so here we go. Starry Sky, I'm gonna to have to get used to saying these names in Orchid Oasis. Orchid Oasis, yes. Okay, and then here are my card bases. I'm like, what did I do with my card bases? They're in my little cart, they're in my pretend cart. Okay, so let's take a look at these patterns really quick. So we have the stripes with Parakeet Party, so beautiful, I love this color. Um, this is the new, I'm going to, I am going to want to call this Pacific point every time I see it. And I know that's wrong. This is Tahitian tide. And this is where we have that sort of worn polka dot look here. Okay. So then let me just put these where these belong. I was kind of separating them all earlier. Now here we have like really, really soft pattern. You almost can't even see it. And this is in the sweet sorbet. Okay, so here is our Orchid Oasis. And again, really, really worn look. Almost can't even see the design there. That's really pretty. And this one, oh my goodness. I just absolutely love this. I, I wanna like make blueberry pie or eat it when I see this particular thing. Um, this is Starry Sky. That is just summer to me. That just looks like a picnic table. It looks like, it. I don't know. We should do some food packaging with it. It's so cute. So, which card base do we want to use? I think, should we do this one? I kind of want to do this one. All right, let's do two. Let's do Parakeet Party and Starry Sky. So here um, is what all of the pieces look like. Hi, Marian, how are you? Um, so for the Tea Boutique Designer Series Paper, which is a six by six pack, double-sided, specifically has all of the new in colors in it which means it's going to coordinate with the in color products 
Um, look at all these designs. So we have this combination of the theme of the teacups and the um, teapot. And then we have all of these patterns that echo what we saw on the cards and envelopes here. Okay, so you can see just very slightly different, very slightly different, but going to coordinate beautifully with whatever we do with this. Um, and then for the dies, let me go back to the dies, the tea dies. All right, so these are what cut out. Okay, so you can see we have our stamps. This is a photopolymer stamp set, by the way, today uh, that we're working with. And then we have our coordinating dies. So we have the pieces that are going to cut out, um, you know, with the dies itself. And then we have a couple of like independent pieces. So we have like an independent slice of what if you would want to do lemon or lime. Uh, they have lemon here on the paper. And then we have these like little floral pieces. But we also have some coordinating stamps that will stamp on those. Um, so really, really cute. So I wanted to get into this. Let's see. Let me know what you guys think of that um, designer series paper. I know, I love the designer series paper too. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I, you know, I like looking at the details of designer series paper. Like when I first got this, this was the one that was on the front. And I just kind of studied it for a couple of minutes. Look at all of the different greens and the different colors and the layers. All of the um, teacups have different patterns on them. You know, I just absolutely love it. Okay, so let me get a couple of stamps out. And let's get some new ink. Oh my gosh, I, I have not stamped with the in color ink at all. So this is gonna be exciting because I almost always have a project ready for the live, but I'm telling you, um, I, I keep promising to tell you guys, you know, more details about what's been going on behind the scenes with me, but these schedule changes, which I don't think are gonna change anytime soon are really throwing me for a loop. Okay, so we're gonna do Starry Sky, and I am gonna like do matchy matchy, so I'm gonna coordinate like real closely with the card bases that we're using. All right, so we'll do Parakeet Party first. Look at that. There's nothing like a brand new ink pad. Oh my gosh. I'll put my stickers on later. Okay. And can you guys see that all right? All right, so let me just stamp that down. Look at that, oh my gosh. That is so well inked. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that, I mean, it's like fluorescent. I wish, I, I can't even tell you. It's like, a, it's like a highlighter. It looks like a highlighter color. I'm gonna stamp it again. Okay, so cool. All right, and then let's get out Starry Sky. And let's take a look at this one. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that's wonderful. I have to tell you, I was like pulling my Stampin' Blends out, including Misty Moonlight, because I don't want to use things that you guys can't get. And I was so sad to put it away, but I love this blue. This is a nice deep blue. So this will be a good one for those staple um, colors that we need. Like if you don't want to use black and you don't want to use brown, this could be a good go-to. Let me leave this open. I'm just going to put it to the side over here. Now let's take another look at our designer series paper. And let's see if we can get some uh, layout that we like. I can keep it on the simpler side with the layout. Let's just, let's just take a look here. And we'll, we'll cut these out in a moment. So we could do something like that. Let me see what the other side looks like. So we could do a layer like this and then layer the sweet sorbet again and then have this coming out of it with the flowers. How do we feel about that? 
and I'll stamp the um, I'll stamp that part separately uh, let's see so it looks like what we could do is we could stamp this and then we could just stamp whatever colored flower we want on them so we could do that but what I would like to do is stamp this one in a different green I ended up going with garden green ink um, for the leaves the little plant coming out of the cup so that I could have a little bit of contrast as opposed to the parakeet party um, that was you know the stamp for the teacup um, I was so excited to use the new in colors um, I decided to use sweet sorbet as the color for the flowers here there is a stamp um, that comes in this set that has like five flowers going across and I didn't realize at the time that I needed to stamp it a little bit lower down so I'm just going to give you guys a heads up about that um, while I'm kind of in voiceover mode because just here in a minute you'll see where I made my mistake so you can learn from my mistake in this instance all right so we're going to cut that out oh you guys you know what I did look at what I did so where I stamped the flowers see this is this is how we discover these things so if I cut this piece it's not going to cut my flowers so forgive me on that but my solution is to fussy cut you do not have to fussy cut just cut your piece first and then stamp your flowers a little bit lower that's it's totally fine um I just messed that up a wee little bit and we'll we'll live so this was my first time uh, using this set and you know this is one of those things where when you don't have a project design ahead of time when you're live um, you can get tripped up a little bit whenever you're coming up with your design plan and of course uh, it started when I stamped my flowers in the wrong place so I know that um, people are not a huge fan of fussy cutting and I'm sorry about that but just know if you position your flowers in a different spot a little bit lower down you won't run into that issue and you can use your die just fine I actually love how fitted these dies are um, I just showed on the teacup there's just a very thin line there around the edge of that teacup so it cuts it nice and close so here I was just trying to come up with my layout and my measurements I did want to use the T boutique designer series paper um, as you know layers on my card base um, even though it has a fantastic pattern you don't have to do that but I chose to do that so here um, I was trying to decide I wanted to have a little bit of contrast behind my teacup but I did not want to cover up the pattern of the paper so I started playing around with this to see if I could cut it into a square if I could trim it down into a smaller square which is one of the reasons why I sped up this portion of the video because in real time I was moving pretty slowly um, but I think what I ended up doing was just fussy cutting right around the cup yeah so um you know again that's very unusual for me um but i really wanted to highlight the paper there so i wanted to you know echo what the paper was showing um with the, the plant in the teacup in a larger size with our sentiment right on the teacup um, and i just wanted a little bit of pop of color behind that teacup and this was my solution so again you don't have to fussy cut but I would look for a die that's going to um, be a nice and snug fit if you want that contrast in color or you know you could just do a, a layer in the lower corner there if you would want to I was really trying my best to um, show as much of that designer series paper as I could um, and here is where I'm trying to decide which sentiment I want to use a lot of times I'll just place the sentiment right over the cup until I get the right you know fit and the one that I want I used starry sky ink for the sentiment I love starry sky ink I think that that is going to become a favorite um, whenever you're not feeling like using you know brown or gray or black you know those traditional like go to neutral colors I think that starry sky is it's different than night of navy it really is um, but it's going to be a nice resource for us to use these are those new in color dots and I'm just you know adding them around the plant and on the flowers and I think it turned out really really cute how did you do my DSP sampler oh here let me show you guys okay so here let me just go back to this 
So for anybody who's interested in doing samplers, I know that demonstrators like to do them, um, you know, because when we get a new catalog, like a new annual catalog, especially, we're going to be pulling this out and using this throughout the whole year. But I personally think that, you know, if you open up a new catalog and you order a bunch of products and you're so excited and then you get it, you can get a little bit overwhelmed, right? Like it's like, wait, <laughs> what did I just buy, right? And then you're like, oh, I'll open it later, you know? So with this, I think this is a great way to use your paper. So what I did was, and I fell a little bit short on the paper, and I'll go back to that in a minute, but this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of crumb cake. I try to use a color that isn't in the designer series paper so that all the designer series paper stands out. And then these pieces are cut at um, two by two. So with the designer series paper, everything is double-sided. So this is the front piece and this is the back piece um, of each sheet. So this is sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four, so that you can see how they would coordinate um, right on your paper pack. So you kind of get a snapshot of what everything looks like. So like I know for sure I would use the lemons with this one, right? Like that just kind of stands out to me. Um, I would like to use this with the teapot. So I would like to use this with this flower pattern, right? So, and of course this is the front and the back side of the same sheet. So Stampin' Up, they know what they're doing, right? Cause they coordinate it for you. Um, but that's how I did it. So I just took every single piece of paper. I cut two squares from it. And then we have the top side and the bottom side and you will have a square left over. Let me show you my leftover squares because you're cutting a six by six sheet, you know, into two inches by two inches. So you'll get three squares per um, cut. And then if you like um, like quilting or if you like, you know, block patterns or anything like that, you can make a card base with your leftover squares, which is what I plan to do. So that was what I did with the tea paper. Um, I, I don't get a chance to do it with all of my designer series paper, but I wish I could. So my suggestion to you would be, you can either cut it into smaller size squares and it will fit on a sheet um, of eight and a half by 11, or get a piece of 12 by 12 paper and cut it to eight and a half by 12 inches and you should be okay. I, I think so. So I wanna say that's about an inch, but you definitely won't have the hangover that you that I'm having here. But I thought this is fine. When I store it, I'll just store it upside down. So that was how I did that um, and that they can make. So let's do Parakeet Party next. Let's go to our little sampler here um, and we can try to find a sheet that I think would be really cute. And I'm already looking at this piece right here. Um, and you guys can kind of zone in and see if you would want to do something leafy or floral. I love this one. I think that that would be gorgeous too. Um, even the one with the envelopes would be cute. Okay, so let's grab some. And of course, if you have your designer series paper and the in color collection, you could use that too, um, which is this paper here. So remember, you know, you have multiple patterns that you could use with that as well. I'll save that for another day and we'll stick with this designer series paper pack because this is the one I'm getting to know right now. All right, so let's do this one. Like again, because I love the pattern so much, I would wanna cut this in a larger size. And then on the opposite, how funny is that? So the opposite is this one. So I just must be, it's like, it's like meant to be that I should be using this piece. Okay, so here we go again with the measurements. Is this the cutest piece of paper or what? Um, what I was trying to do was make sure that I didn't cut into the teacups. So I kind of um, scooched over the paper so that you could see all of the teacups on there and kind of cut at the line. Um, and then I decided to use the reversed side of the paper and keep that pattern um, for this card as well. And I know that that's funny. I think that any of the in colors would have been really pretty as a border behind it. And again, if you want to preserve, um, you know, these teacups, 
teacup patterns and everything like that, consider incorporating that in color paper, the 2022 to 2024 in color paper. That will also coordinate perfectly um, with this suite and with the products in this suite. And I know I talked a lot about it in the beginning of the video, so I won't spend too much time on it. But just remember, um, you know, with the starter kit this month, all of those in color products that are you're getting for free, if you would want to include the tea boutique as part of your starter kit, I mean, you'd really maximize your value on that. It's just it's absolutely worth it. So uh, just a quick reminder that the link um, to purchase your starter kit is in the description box below. And if you want more information, I do have a lot more information about it, um, breaking down all the details on my blog. And you're welcome to reach out to me anytime as well. You can email me at stampingwithheart um, at gmail.com or you can direct message me on the social platforms and I'll be happy to reach out to you. So here we're just starting to layer on. Um, I did, I will say that I didn't want to cover up that whole striped pattern, that parakeet party pattern, but I just couldn't help it because I'm loving the designer series paper on this. So if you want that card base that's already pre-printed to be your background and maybe just use a small piece of designer series paper, um, I should have done as an, you know, an example of that so that you could have seen, but there are really fantastic um, samples in the catalog that you can check out as well if you would just want to case the card. Um, so here I decided to use my sponge dauber to edge around um, instead of having to put a background piece because I wanted to take out that fussy cutting step. And now here I'm just adding some parakeet party dots throughout the designer series paper. And I think that this card turned out super cute too. Absolutely love this set. Okay, so, and you could do the envelope for either one. Okay, so there's this one here. So, so fabulous. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to order like 10 more packs of this. And then here's the other one. Oh my God, I love these. I absolutely love them. Okay, so there you go, okay. So one of the questions that I got on my live was if I could show or demonstrate using the tag and there are two different sizes. So I'm just pointing out the different sizes that you can use in the tie for your little tea bag tie. And let me just show you how cute the sentiments are for these little tags. Okay, so for this little tag right here, look at how many words they fit onto this. I just can't thank you enough. I miss you. It's time for tea, which can we all just, yes. If you love tea, we just, we, ha we have to use that one. So let's go ahead and if I still have this out, let me get my little baby block here and we'll make a, we'll make a little tag, okay? So, and then you can do a stamped tag too. Um, there's a stamped image there. Where's the one that says it's time for tea? Okay, so will that fit on the baby? No, so it's time for tea has to go on the big guy. Um, this one here, I just can't thank you enough, will fit on the little one. I miss you. It will fit. Um, enjoy would go on the bigger guy unless you want to try to do it sideways. But that that's, that's cutting it close. Uh, we have a two from on here, which is equally adorable. So why don't we try to do the I just can't thank you enough. This ended up being one of my favorite parts of um, creating with this video. So when I got the question if I could demonstrate um, making one of the tea bag tags, I just decided to cut all three and then do a large and a small, um, just a sample. And since I had that third stamped teacup, I decided to cut that out too. Um, and I didn't make a full card. Um, I just demonstrated on how to, you know, do a super cute um, teacup with the, the large tag. Um, and then of course you could do the same exact thing with the smaller tag. Now I'm using Orchid Oasis, which is another new in color, so beautiful. On the first one, I stamped a little too hard and because the new ink pads are so juicy, it kind of blurred the, um, the you know, the uh, words. So I just wanted to give a shout out about that. Um, you can just very lightly touch these teeny tiny stamps with that brand new ink and it will give a good impression. The second impression you could read just fine. Um, but I ended up going with the larger one for the demonstration and to adhere this twine, this is also the coordinating in color twine 
Um, and that designer series paper that you're seeing is the in color designer series paper in Orchid Oasis. Just as an example, um, I pulled out an extra piece like towards the end of the live and just said like, here's just a sample layout of what you could do like in the simplest terms. And is that not absolutely adorable with the twine, the tag and the cup? I mean, you guys are gonna have so much fun creating with this set. All right, so let's see. I guess I'm asking, did all of this come? Yes, it did. And I'll show you, cause now we can open up our catalogs. So let me show you. Okay, so just to go through what comes in the Tea Boutique set. Tea Boutique is the very first um, one that you see, the very first suite that you're gonna see in your catalog. Um, so again, this is what the new catalog looks like. I, I messed mine up a little bit, just forgive me on that. Okay, so here we go, here's the suite. So for anybody who wants to add it to their list or if you wanna add certain pieces to your list, if you do the entire suite, that's over here. They have the cutest samples right here. But can we all please just look at this one with the tea bags in, in that little bag that they're selling? There are new peekaboo like treat bags. That's not the official name of it, but this is so perfect. Um, I love the slim line idea they have here. But anyway, just to kind of break down and get to the products. So you're gonna get the bundle. So you would get the stamps and the dies. You're gonna get the memories and more, the card kit basically. So it's called Tea Boutique Cards and Envelopes. You're gonna get the designer series paper as well. So the bundle, the designer series paper, the cards and the envelopes all coordinated, all come in the suite, okay? If you don't wanna do the whole suite, you can just do your bundle or you could do your individual products, but they have everything matching back so perfectly. And the other really huge benefit is that it has all the new in colors in it. So a lot of us, when we get a new catalog, one of the first things that we buy are the new in color products. So any of that that you get, you know, the twine, um, the stamp and blends, right? The uh, the embellishments, that's all gonna coordinate with this suite. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. The ribbon, um, you know, they have a lot of really cute in color stuff in this catalog. All right, and let's see if I have any other questions. Um, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Anytime you guys want me to show anything, anytime you have questions, um, d you know, don't hesitate. I'm happy to answer. Okay. All right. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Have a great Thursday night and I will see you all again on Sunday.